Hey everyone, Stardust Power here. As he decides to talk over that, but whatever. <laughs> um, last episode, we learned about Battle Royale, did a few things in the shop, I explained a bit of more of, I guess, the show, of what, the evilness of the show. And then we did one battle of the tournament. So this time, we're just going to be doing the rest of the tournament. So the next opponents we're going to be is Julio, I think it's how, I still think it's how you say his name. Chen Li and Callus. Callus always that Suave. That's <laughs> on the enemy team. It's almost time for the next game. Suave or not might be the correct term, but whatever. He was always the guy that even though he was on the enemy team, you you almost couldn't hate him. <laughs> like I'm not sure about I wasn't describing that right, but you almost couldn't hate him for how he was. And at the same time, you could love to hate him just because of how much of an ass he could be at some points. We got this. Let's battle now. Are you scared? This is a duel. Are you ready? And these are the normal three that hang around the most, actually, now that I realize. And it fits because it's Chaos, Pyrus, and Aquas. Keep in mind that the, the show had that ability be a lot different. And what do I mean by that? Well, in this game, the Pyrus, Aquas, Chaos, or the Ventress, Subtera, Darkness correlation. Uh, worked in a way of you had to have all three, like, basically it was put all three Bakugan onto a onto one gate card because it was a triple battle, and then you activated the card. Bakugan, brawl. Bakugan, stand. Okay, whatever. I don't think that worked out the way I wanted it to, but got all three onto a card somehow, and then they activated the triple correlation card, Bakugan, stand. and. And gain enough power and just bust it through. That's what Dan Morocho and Runo did. Stand. Oh dear. And in this game, uh, it's just that if you you if your Bakugan team comprises of a Darkrus, a Heia, a Darkrus, a Ventress, and a Subterra, the Bakugan who's battling on the field gains 400 G power. A lot easier to do. I'm okay with that, actually. <laughs> what is this? Bakion have the G-Power swapped, then I gain 100 G-Power on top of that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And both of them are going to go on to her team. Yep. And there we go. I wonder if the uh, mic picked up the shaking because it was kind of right near the mic. It might have picked up the wrist strap hitting the hitting the controller. Oh come on, really? And fear ripper. Again, I can't tell this because I've watched the show too many times. I've won too many tournaments. I've played this game one too, one too many times to recognize the fact that that Baki gun was Fiora. <laughs> Just by seeing where the Baki gun uh, split open. <laughs> and even sometimes the design. That's how I figured out Griffin.
Yeah! <laughs> I'm entirely okay with that, and I almost failed that. <laughs> Griffin. Why would you think you could take me on at 525 Gs compared to 290? Especially when that happens. So you see here. Okay, this one's not the greatest example, but you look at Chaos and Pyrus. They both gain. They're the ones that gain the most G's. Subterra so and Darkness gain the least at only 120, while Pyrus and Chaos gain 160. Oh, he's got a timing battle card. Ready? Yep. Oh. Well, that wasn't enough. <laughs> so use G Power Star, which basically just meant I could keep collecting in the bonus, but I wasn't gaining any G Power, so you can argue why I do the bonus. Well, the symbols go away anyway, so might as well just keep up the bonus. So that way, when it does get installed, I still have the bonus going through. Oh, ho big, ho boss one, Fortress. I believe that's how you say his name. I'm actually gonna go in this battle to try and uh, find out. Yeah, Fortress, the one of many faces, and Fear Ripper. I was used to pronounce it as Fear Reaper, and then I realized, oh, it's Fear, it's Fear Ripper. Which I think is what that gate card was. Ability card and he turns it into a timing battle. And takes out Fear Ripper. <laughs> Skip this. Lands it next. Hmm. What's the fence on that Bakugan? Not the greatest. Alright, Falconia. What's my Makasa? Bakugan Brawl! Bakugan Stand! Ooh! That was 200, over 200 Gs just lost off that sphere attack. I don't know, I normally don't play this, I only play it very defensive on my own gate cards unless I have to play it on another gate card. Oh, fuck. I probably should have saw that coming. I think I have this lost. Ability card I can get the 505 G's. But other than that, I think I've lost this. Oh, it's level 2 shooting. Okay. Ready? And I get no help. Yeah, I lost that fight, but it was close. If I would have gotten that first, the first gold, I would have had it. I think. Alright, there goes Falcon Eon. There goes two of my ability cards to try to win that fight. Turn. 
impossible. What? Okay, okay. Just don't land on my car, it'll be fine. Gosh dang it! <laughs> and Mia! Mia's pretty much the point where I just give up. I still have, an, I still have Quick Strike. I think I, and I have all my Baki on back, so Leonidas. Bakugan, brawl. Bakugan, there we go. Land right there. And then. Mirrors up. Impossible. Oh my gosh. I'm just skipping this so I can get to the battle. Bakugan, stand. Eh. If it gets back to me and I still- Oh, fudge. See you I actually kind of have to view this. Because I, I can't afford to have him land on Chen Li's, uh Bakugan. The gate card on Chen Li's Bakugan is on. There we go. Okay, at least it landed on mine. <laughs> Which means I have this one. Okay, well, I almost lost this. <laughs> Gate card open. Mm, bink. Oh, shaking level two. Okay, this is the one I probably hate the most out of shaking. Oh, fudge. See what I mean? You all. Even when I stop shaking, it's like, oh, nope, you you got hit a bit. And there's Alpha Eraser. Or Alpha Laser, or whatever. I forget what it's called. Yes, I won. And there we go. There's That's my skills talk. round two. Okay, just says next game. Next opponents are Runo, Marucho, and Julie. Julie is a Subterra brawler and very happy go lucky apparently. And even when she's sad, she tries to appear happy. Her main one is Fortress. And uh Fortress can be a third at times. It's very po very powerful Subterra. Pray it uh a giant golem at that. Did I say fortress? Cause I think it. I think it's just golem. I forget what. But though I forget its name actually. For some reason, like I remember Ty, uh, Tigrera, Preus, Drago or Dragon. It was the full name, but he just it's nicknamed Drago. I want to say it's golem, but I could be wrong.
What? Was that say? Was he? Did she say golem or was that say just golem? Cause I don't want to say it's golem. Yeah, I thought it was golem. All right, I'm not gonna try to do anything fancy here. Get Falcon here onto my gate card and go from there. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, hi, Prius. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of screwed here. Even on my own gay card, I don't feel like I'm winning this, especially because of the fact that he has a G Power stall by the looks of it. Also, I'm glad he's still Aquas. Why? Because Prayers has the ability, I think, to go from Darkerus, Subterra, and Aquas. Wow, I'm a whole 180 G's below him, and he's going to have both partners. With a G power stall, so I'm completely screwed in this fight. Oh, I got both helpers, actually. What? Yep, see. Oh, I'm still gaining, gaining G power though. Never mind. Then what does G power stall do? Lowers? Is it lower my G power boost? Because you would think stall would mean I wouldn't gain anything, but I was still gaining things out of that. Well, whatever, I won. <laughs> Well, there he is. Oh, uh, man, I want to. I don't feel comfortable. I gotta play this. I'm definitely gonna have to play this safe. Oh, it is Grom. Okay. Thought that was. I thought it was Golem, but it's Grom. Okay. Just land the nice on my key code. Now you can see how I normally play to make sure I can win this. A lot of times it's literally just playing defensive and doing a lot of double stands. Um. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever lost when I'm on Leonidas' character card, and I still have Leonidas' character card. Gate card open. Ability card activate. Ability card activate. I didn't want to, but I'm gonna have to. Okay, that's my castle. No, it's only level one shooting, okay. Ready?
Okay, there we go. <laughs> Goodbye, Griffin. Yes, I won. See you three, sir. And Mia's now activated. Yeah, I'll show this battle. Just to show you Gorom. Gorom. A Gorom. I I don't know how to I don't I don't know how to pronounce his name. Golem. 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 I think it's like it's like a play on Golem, but it's Golem. The cliffs. Boost the 480. Punch! <laughs> yes, we win! See Forrester. Oh, fun. She still has G Power Stall. Yes, confusion. Okay, I really feel like confusion should not be... There we go. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> Confusion is my least favorite hypo ability in the game. I can deal with Mio because a lot of times when Mio gets played, I'm just gonna go, I'm just throw it straight and don't bother trying to go for anything because backwards controls, I get screwed up entirely. But Confusion is just like, ugh, it, it's a complete headache. Complete headache and a pain in the ass. Did he, it was he the one who got confusion? Yes, it was. Okay, so confusion's gone. Oh, fickle fangle of faith. So I win? Okay. <laughs> Skip this battle because I win. Gone stand. Huh. You won't beat me. That's my skills talking. Yep, yeah, uh well, after that, that's gonna actually do it. So next so next time we're gonna see what happens after this after we in this tenement. So next time later. <laughs>